Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm headed to the mall to get a driver and I wanted to come here because I'm doing a paid review. What you're about to see is a paid review to give my honest opinion of the Tommy Armor TA1 driver. So we're headed up. This store is insane. They just built this, I think, a year ago. We go up to the golf section and I actually needed to come here anyway because I have to get the baseball pants and I have to get baseball shoes as well because I'm joining a, a softball team. I'm just going to try to get fit for one so I know what kind to get. I got what I get and came here for. This is the driver. I'm one handed, so. This is it. Nine degree TA1. It's really hard for me not to go to the food court right now. When I'm gonna avoid that, go straight to the range. Let's test it out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is my review of the Tommy Armor TA1 driver. The first thing you'll see that you'll notice about it, it has this carbon fiber crown this whole all this area here is carbon fiber and then also too it's got kind of like speed fins almost I don't know what you would call them but see how it's it's raised differently just like a golf ball if a golf ball was totally smooth and it was trying to fly through the air it would have all this drag and it would actually slow it down it would create this like pocket back here that would be dragging and kind of like pulling it back like a water skier almost so they have all these uh bumps and stuff to make it cut through the air a little bit better and that's one of the big trends in golf club design now doing different things to get it to cut through the air faster so the weight by getting this really strong really light material this carbon fiber in the crown then they can put more weight low and back here which helps for spin I've hit this driver a bunch of times and uh, I can say that it flies basically the same as my regular driver. I've been hitting, I got my uh, little portable launch monitor out here that reads ball speed pretty good within a couple degrees of like the super expensive ones. <clears throat> 273 carry, ball speed 155 with this uh, range ball. So that's good. I mean, that's basically the same numbers that I get with my gamer. And um, the one thing that I can say about it though, this is in the standard setting. Nope, let's see, yep. This is in the standard setting, which is a good setting for me. It's a little strong for me though. It's a little closed for me, the standard setting. It is adjustable, it has a lower and a higher setting here. But the, the setting changes with two degrees. If I want this more open, I have to click over to lower and that's gonna open the face two degrees which would be pretty close to what I, would, what I would want, but it's a little too much. And then also that would change the loft then, I think the same amount, two degrees. So from a nine degree driver to a seven degree driver. So I guess the thing to do would be f to try the, the different loft and uh, setting combinations to see what works for you. Let's try to get it right out of the center of the face. Well, straight down the fairway. 263. That's fine. I was a little on the, it's got a, a dark face, which I like because it's, you can see the hit spot. Main thing I can say about this driver is you should check it out because at Dick's and Golf Galaxy, it's a lot less expensive, like maybe 30% less expensive than getting a driver that you see got a guy sponsored by on tour, like one of the, you know, top major brands. But the performance is like, if this fits you, the performance is going to be the same. If this fits you, if you can find a TA1 driver that fits you as far as the shaft and then uh, the loft, either if standard is good for you or a little open or, or actually, you know, two degrees open or two degrees close, it's, this is going to work just as well as those drivers. So try to hit one more out of the center. Actually, let me try. So I'll try to hit a good one and then I'll try to show you something. Yeah, that was a good one. And now I'm going to try to hit one and miss the face. So I'm going to try to hit one out of the toe and see what the difference is speed-wise, forgiveness-wise. Okay. 
So that was uh, 265, pretty hot. You can see I got it out of the toe there. So it didn't cost me too much in distance, but because it was off the toe, it then overdrew a little bit. Now I'm gonna try one out of the center again. It's all right, 270. And it was a little closer to the center than the other one. Yeah, so this is the Tommy Armour TA1 driver. It's a good driver, a really good bargain compared to some of the other ones. And it'll perform just the same as long as uh, you just see if, go and hit it and see if this kind of naturally fits you. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you watching guys. Later, bye.